Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Clay from Clay's Collections, and guess what? We're gonna go through the perfume collection. At least we'll hit the highlights, because there's 160 bottles. That would take a long time on a video to get through all of them. And there's only one, two of them that are duplicates. The rest are unique individual perfume bottles. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Clay and I am a part-time reseller, antique dealer. I deal mostly in books, uh, some vintage items, but when I come across a great collection of stuff, I can buy it because um, there's great opportunity to make some extra money. So in this case, it happened to be online auctions and I did not expect to win um, the auctions because of the amount of perfume bottles there were in each lot. So my goal was to keep everything under a dollar a bottle. So, so when I kind of rough estimated how many bottles they showed in each lot, and I got four different lots, and I spent a total including fees and taxes and all that of $128. So that means I needed to, to reach my goal of a dollar or less, have 160 bottles. I mean, 128 bottles. Sorry, I just gave it away. I got 160 bottles of perfume. So that's definitely below my $1 threshold. But the surprising thing was one of the lots, um, they, they had them in plastic tins when I picked them up. Plastic tubs. I have a problem with words today. Sorry, not tins. Plastic tubs. And it had some items other than perfume bottles. And one of those items that was in that particular plastic tub was an item that itself is worth like $120. Totally unexpected. It, didn't, it was not in any of the photos for the auction lot. So I don't know if they just had leftover stuff that they just threw in there or what. But it paid off for me. So we'll get to that in a little bit. So as you can imagine, it's almost every type of perfume and again, there were lots I didn't get because they, I just, you know, I was like, oh, I don't want too many of them. <laughs> I still got too many of them, but I, I, I'm going to cover some of the, the better ones, higher quality and older ones today. It's kind of how I'm going to approach this or unique items. So with that in mind, let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with some of the empty bottles. Now, someone at some point... And I don't know if it was the person who had this collection that they started many years ago, or if they had picked up another collection from someone else, possibly a parent or a grandparent. Um, but like on this bottle, if you look at the bottom, see there's in white paint, there's the number 19. There's a number of them that have that. Um, <laughs> I said there's a number of them, now I can't find any more, that have that white lettering on the bottom. And we'll come across them as we as we go along. Um, but that's so somebody had them inventoried at some point for their own little collection. Now this beautiful Art Deco bottle, it's called Gardenia by Duvine, New York. It's the perfume has evaporated out of it, but it's still a beautiful little bottle. The lid is loose, so I'll be able to clean it out. Um, and needless to say, this room smells very heavily of perfume. And that's why Cindy is not joining me on this video, because it's too much for her allergies. So she's in the other room uh, doing some work and talking to our nephew. Um, so this is another beautiful little bottle. This particular one is called Concentre Narcisse. Oh, some, some French, but it also has some Asian characters on there. Um, and I cannot find this one anywhere. Got a little cork stopper on it, which is really cool. Little floral design. It is a plastic top, but it's just a beautiful little bottle. Again, probably 1940s, I would say. This is the only one that was broken. It has a broken, the wing of the bird is chipped. So... Considering that, the rest of them are really cool. This is just a little flat one, spaceship style. 
not the spaceship stuff. But there are two. These are the little with the little dauber style, but this is hand blown. It's signed on the bottom. It's very thin, clear glass with the purple stopper in it. This one is purple glass with a clear stopper, and it's also signed on the bottom, hand blown. This one is, is marked M O H. 99, 1999, that was made. It's a beautiful little bottle. So my goal with the majorities, majority of these is I will price them like five to $10, depending upon the brand, if there's cologne in them, if there's not, um, or perfume. And if there's not, then, you know, they might go for a couple. These older ones will definitely be like $5 each. This one's Gardenia, again, all evaporated. This one has a beautiful stopper on it, very ornate with a little gem on top. I'm sure it's just colored glass, not a real gem. Um, this one was really cool. It's a plastic top, uh, you know, with the lady the skirt. The glass, you can't probably can't tell on camera, but it's actually very iridescent, the glass is, which is really cool. And the plastic top, she's cracked in the back. But still a great uh, looking bottle. Again, probably 1940s to 50s, possibly a little earlier, but around that time frame. This another beautiful Art Deco piece, 1930s to 40s, with a brass cover. Um, I forgot the brand. Oh yes, you know this one has the numbering on it, 53. So, so after getting these and going through them, I was really disappointed because I'm like, I should have gone for all the lots because I think there would have been some great things and probably the rest of that original collection that someone had. This is another beautiful one with a stopper in it, clear glass. Um, this one is just a decorative piece, pretty modern, but nice if you're looking for decorative. There's two of these, one in the square bottle, one in the round bottle. The round bottle is half full, square bottle is just a little bit. This is number 4711. It's actually like a German perfume. So that's kind of cool. Let's see. This one is a Pablo Picasso. This one is empty, but there is a set, uh, a full set of six different ones that that exact same one is in. So we have that. Oh, this one is really cool. This one comes in a box. It's an empty bottle. It comes with its own little beautiful star covered box. And this one, Florence Miller has her name on the bottom. And it's number 11. So this was part of that collection that someone had at some point, which is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna clear some of these out of the way. Again, there's a number of empty ones. I think there was approximately 30 bottles that are empty. Uh, just beautiful little, you know, like this one. This one's kind of fun. It looks like a light bulb that you screw in. The top is that way with a little jewel on top. So, um, and it has a companion piece here, similar, different shaped bottle. And this one has the label on it. I don't remember seeing that one, that's cute. Little octagonal shaped one. Um, all right, this one is really cool. It's a little flower plastic bottle. It's empty, but I just love that plastic flower part of it. All right, and then there's some of them come with the box. This one is Landvin Perfumes. Beautiful little bottle, beautiful display. Crescendo by Landon. The boxes are awesome. And then it's labeled on the bottom too. Um, White Linen by Estee Lauder. This is a newer perfume. Oh. This one has no label, no information on it whatsoever, but I did look it up. And this one is like a $20 bottle. $20 to $25 bottle of perfume. So I can't remember what it was. Incognito is an inexpensive one. Oh, let's see, like there's empty boxes too. That's an empty box that came with it. 
This one is what? Jean Paul Gaultier, made in France. This is just an empty bottle. I wish this topper was on it, but there isn't one. It's like a bikini clad body. This is stamped on the bottom. This is Christian Dior. It's an empty bottle, but the bottle empty goes for like $50. It's a beautiful crystal bottle. Uh, can easily be, you know, filled with something else or just look great on your vanity. Another beautiful empty bottle with the stopper. Love that. All right, now let's get into some of the other. Now, she must have loved this white shoulder because we have it in this box, in this little bottle. We also have it in the large size. This is a vintage perfume. And we have a, a miniature bottle of it in here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it's at, but it's in here somewhere. <laughs> so um, this one was very surprising. This is Champagne. And it's by, oh, I can't remember, Champagne, who the designer name. Oh, yeah, Yves Saint Laurent. But this little bottle sold for $40. Now, it was a full bottle. This one is, you know, a little over three quarters full. But for this, for a little bottle like these to sell for $40 or more is pretty amazing. So that was a good find. This is another very interesting find. It came in this little case. It's marked $25. This is a corset um, perfume. And this one goes for $35 to $40 for this little bottle. So you can see with just selling a couple of these, I get my money back. Plus the fact this extra item that sells for $120 to $130, I'll recover all of my money. This is Marc Jacobs. This is the only male cologne in the batch. So I might keep this one for myself. Um, the rest are all female. Lunatica, I could not find this one. Not familiar with it. Don't think it's an expensive one, but it's a cool bottle. So if you're into collecting, you know, different types of mini perfume bottles, this is definitely a collection. Kenneth Cole on this one. All right, I'm going to get into some of the more unusual ones. This one is, is it, as you can see from the bottom, is an unusual shape. Almost looks like a lipstick or... I remember the old paint glue bottles with the rubber tips that look like that. <laughs> this one is just has a G on it. I have no idea who that is. So if you guys know, let me know. And this is made a de parfum. Made in the UK. So this is an English perfume. But I have no idea anything about it. Majority of these, vast majority, I would say probably 95% of these are French perfumes. So, uh, great. Carolina Herrera, another great find. You know, $15, $20 bottle. This one is Burberry. This is Angel by Burberry, I believe. No, Society by Burberry. Society. Another great brand. This one is a Christian Dior, golf ball style, uh, cologne, again, $15 to $20. I, I'm amazed at what these little bottles go for. This one, Violets, uh, these are French, and my mom's watching this video and just laughing at me, I'm sure, at the way I'm pronouncing these names. But um, this is actually a very old cologne. This one, this bottle itself, I don't believe is, it's vintage, but it's not, you know, very old, but from, what a little research I did on this, it looks like this dates back, this perfume dates back to the 1800s, as to when it first came out. So this is one that's kind of stood the test of time, which is kind of cool. And it's in a beautiful little lavender bottle. Okay, let me show you some of these other. Here's another really cool bottle. Look at that scroll top. It's a plastic top. These, this was one that was duplicated. And this is Givenchy. It's Organza by Givenchy. So that's another great designer perfume. Here's another hilarious shaped bottle. Kind of like a lipstick. 
And this one, uh, oh, Taffetas. I'm not exactly sure what that brand was. I did look it up and that was a good price. This one is really cool. It's a shape of an apple and it's Lolita Limerick. Cute little apple bottle perfume. This one, Poem. Another $15 little bottle. Again, some of these, I'm not gonna try to pronounce because I don't know how to pronounce them. Oh, this is a fun, this is the only um, madness bottle, a little square red, like that one. Uh, let's see, there's the MGM Grand for her perfume. Didn't know the casinos had their own line of perfumes. This one is really fun. Don't know anything about it, but it's this little chalice shaped. And the bottle itself just sits inside there like that. I suppose you could do it that way too. But yeah, pretty, pretty fun little bottle. This one, Pablo Picasso with his cologne. This one is full, it's a cool bottle. Get, you know, $15 for that little bottle. Here's another one of these older collector bottles. That little bell-shaped cologne. Gardenia was the flavor. Flavor. Odor, no, essence. Scent, smell, whatever. There's a beautiful little purple with a green cap to it. Uh, Ungaro. This one was an Italian, I believe, perfume. There were a couple Italian perfumes in here. Um... This one is really cool. It's an old 1940s. Look at the bottle, the box for the bottle. And there's the bottle. <laughs> the box is in the shape of the bottle, which I thought was really cool. So again, this is, oh, that bottle is stuck to the base, so I won't try to take it out. But this one is collectible just for the box and the bottle. Um, let's see. This is an empty bottle, but a beautiful little floral lid to it. And again, some people collect them just for the bottles. All right, here's some other of the more expensive bottles. This particular one is from like the 1930s, it looks like, um, decorative bottle. Can't remember the brand of perfume that was in this. Um, but this bottle is a 20 to $25 bottle as is. This is a share bottle of Cher's Cologne from the 1990s, I believe. This one um, sells full for $80 to $100 for this little bottle. It's a vintage, apparently pretty popular little perfume. All right. Um, and again, I'm not even halfway through this lot. So I will just show you some of the other more unique ones. I love these. These are perfume tablets, a set of three of them, um, by Imperial Linens. If you guys know how these would have been used, let me know, because I would love to know. Do you drop a tablet in water? Do you put the tablet in your drawer for your linens, Imperial Linens? That's kind of how I would view that, so it's kind of like a satchel type of thing. This bottle has real fur. It's real mink wrapped around the lid. I just thought that was hilarious. Um, this one, no name, no nothing on it. It's a pair of legs with a skirt upside down. Just funny. All right, let me show you a couple of the items that are not perfume that we picked up. That are, and these could be, these are itty bitty bottles. So, you know, you could say that's a miniature perfume bottle, definitely. And there's this itty bitty blue one, itty bitty. <laughs> um, there was this beautiful little pot. It's not signed or anything. It's got a little ladybug on it. It's just a beautiful little pot. And then this paper mache little trinket dish somebody made. I thought that was pretty cool. But the item. That surprised me was you see this little dragonfly 
This is called a miniature seed pod, from my understanding. This was done by Carolyn Concho, New Mexico, Native American art. It's penciled on the bottom $40, so I'm assuming that's what she sold it for. But this, her pieces go for these little seed pods around $120 to $150. Had no idea this was going to be in the lot. And it's in perfect condition. So that was a wonderful find. Oh, what else do we have? We have so much. Um, hope you guys are hanging in there. <laughs> um, there's a Miss Saigon. Uh, that one's not that old. It says manufactured 2010, expires 2015. So there you go. Oh yeah, this, another little set drawer satchel type of thing by Yardley, compressed lavender blossoms in a little package. Um, now this perfume, this is by Byzance, B-Y-Z-A-N-C-E. It's another rather expensive bottle. This one's probably, you know, 10 to $15 bottle because it's a little over half full. There's this one, Sapphire, and then it has a companion piece, Boucheron, this one, a little different shape bottle, but similar, kind of a ring shape. Um, like I say, it just goes on and on and on. Here's a short squatty one, which is beautiful. This one is Spellbound by S.D. Lauder. Anne Klein, this Anne Klein in the box. So this is a $15 perfume in the box. This bottle is really cool. Cindy calls it an Egyptian style. It does have that kind of feel to it with that. And it's called Jadore by Christian Dior. That's fun. Let's see. What is this one? Isadora. This one is actually, you know, another 10 to $15 little bottle. This one is funky looking. Lid, what is it? it? The brand is. Doesn't say. Some of these don't say. Oh, here's that another shoulders one. What was that? Um, oh, yeah, white shoulders. That was. That's the other one of that one. You stay on there. All right. This is a beautiful bottle. White crystal, so in love, it's called. And love this little, little one. Again, a lot of these are still full. Anne Klein 2, that's another good brand. Cologne, um, perfume. This one's interesting. Uh, you can see through there, there's another bottle image that shines through. It's indented on the backside and frosted. And, and this one is Margrethe. That's really cool. What is this one? Oh, Poison. That's another good, good brand. Coco by Chanel, of course. Classic. This one's a fun one. Can't remember the, oh yeah, it's here. Mahora. Love the bottle. This one is actually worth quite a bit too. Pivoin, 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 something like that. Then there's this genuine Alaska gold with the moose on top. Yeah, it's the free flowing in some sort of liquid, not really a perfume, just free flowing gold, which is pretty cool. Oh, and lots of other little bottles. Diasperelda. Here's we, one of these, what is this? Choppard, Chopard or something. Beautiful little bottle. We have, oh, this one's a beautiful bottle. It's called Eight Jour. Beautiful little bottle there. Here's another pancake style bottle. Here's somebody talking in the background. That's Cindy. Is he talking to our nephew? Um, 
This one is First by Van Cleve and Arpel. So there's some, you know, really big name perfumes in all of this. This one is Hot Couture. The beautiful, this one I could see in the photographs very clearly. Oh yeah, this one, this one's pretty fun bottle. Image of a woman wearing a large hat. All right, a few more minutes here, and I'm going to call it because I'm wearing out. Oh, this one. One of these sold for $100. It's in much better condition in a little fancier box. But it's this little bottle. This The image on this bottle has faded greatly, so it was obviously in the on a bright light where it faded to this bluish color. But it's a classical scene on it. It's got its own little... Um, case for when you're carrying it in your purse and uh so yeah so I, you know i have no idea what i could get for that in its current condition because the image is what sells those here's another white shoulders and another brand like i said she must have liked those because it's number four of those it's a beautiful little blue glass and let's do this one love this bottle it's one of my favorites i saw that in the pictures i'm like i want that one that one's pretty cool and then let's do last liz claiborne triangular shaped this is like almost empty there's a tiny bit in there but this is also a, a really good brand um, to sell oh let me end with so if you stayed this long thank you so much for staying with us this long. but there's a little cast iron level also in there you know dates it's uh oh got a patent date of 19, 1898 on it. So 120 years old, still got the, you know, bubble in the level. So it could still be used today. So there you go. That's quite a bit of our haul. Like I say, there's still a good number of them left, but you know, a lot of similar looking bottles, just small miniature bottles. Tried to show you the most unique ones out of the bunch and the more valuable ones so wish me luck on being able to sell this large lot <laughs> thanks for watching guys we'll catch you next time